and Rich Eisen and the crew come your way at 9 a.m. Eastern with game day morning. Our Sunday free game coverage begins this Sunday, 7 a.m. Eastern, right here on NFL Network. It's back to football. Comprehensive highlights. Giants and the Cowboys. Phil Sims, O.J. Anderson, Michael Strahan, Super Bowl glory of the past. Jason Witten playing despite the lacerated sleeve. Romo and Eli going head-to-head in New Jersey. Second quarter, no score. Giants with the football at the Cowboys 41. Eli, though, feeling the heat. Here comes DeMarcus Ware. Career sack number 100 and a half. Second quickest in football history to achieve that feat behind the late Reggie White. That would give the football back to the Cowboys on their next possession. Romo gives it back to the Giants. Quickly. Michael Foley, good moves here, but Michael Steve, Foley, the best very important that the Cowboys tackle him inside the five against the Giants. Could not, great point, cash in on the touchdown, huh? Coaches love hustle play, saving four points. Led to the field goal courtesy, Lawrence Steins, 3 nothing. Giants on top. But, two uh, drives later, Romo, two guys, Bryant. Beating Kenny Phillips, good for 38 yards yeah, down the sideline. Good ball down the sideline, there's Brian Boone behind Webster. He is a pretty good corner, but that's just the perfect throw, dropping right in front of the safety over the corner. And you see the time remaining. Closing stages of the half is Ogletree. First name Kevin, you got the goal last night. First of two touchdowns. Squeeze is in the house. Seven, three, Dallas on top to the third. Now, Romo, I see you coming. I'm going to check the, the line. He made the right call because Ogletree, Steve, wide open. Yeah, get stop and go, Rod. He's got the corner court. Webster had a rough night. Keep it in the backfield. Romo extends the play. And that's why Ogletree is in the end zone. I'm going to take that 23 off uh, Corey Webster and put on skid marks. Did one of you come up for your fantasy team? <laughs> yeah, by the way, I did because my mystery guru is working the waiver wire. <laughs> Touchdown, 14-3 Dallas. But you know the Giants are resilient. We saw it over and over. Nice razor, Manning on the third and fourth. Razor all the way around and get that skin really clean. 39 yards down to the 10. Strong throw, great grab. Inside traffic. Good ball very nice play first and goal on that Bradshaw with the power stiff arms his way into the end zone joining B yeah, Bradshaw had to really carry the load because the rookie Williams fumbled early and really could not keep his composure lights a little too bright made it a 14-10 game check out to Marco Murray breaking the attempted tackles by Matthias Steven got a block there so the Cowboys in business inside the 10, but on second and goal, Romo sacked by Livol Joseph, nine yard loss, all set up by Jason Pierre Paul. You have to run just the tenacity of Witten to be on the field, but unable to do anything on the edge. There's still a third and goal chance. Romo to the end zone looking for Ogletree, but Michael Coe breaks it up. Led to a Dan Bailey 33 yard field goal, 17 10. Dallas on top of the fourth. Second and five. Romo finally gets Miles Austin involved playing for the pain of the hamstring injury. 20 yard pickup. Well, he, he paced himself and was ready for this. Romo extending the play. Improv. I don't know. I don't call him anymore. Austin knows what to do with the football. Leads his way forward. 10 yard gain to the 24. Two plays later. Same combination, even more dynamic. Austin between Justin Tryon and Antro. Roll 34 yard touchdown. Very weak right now. 24 10, Dallas on this top. This action can make the haircut. Right he just went up and got a couple of days. Tryon fooled on the play and then just out physical as a coach I used to know. <laughs> All about physicality. Now urgency for the Giants with nearly five minutes to go. Bradshaw doing his part. Up the 
middle, oh, rumbling 33 yards to the Cowboy 37. Giants have to score and would help them to score quickly. Two plays later, roughly 4.30 to go. Fifth play of the drive. Eli, to Victor Cruz, can't hang on to the football. One of the three drops on the night for Victor Cruz in all game. So now, with two plays later, got to go for it on fourth and two. Eli goes back to Cruz, moving the chains to the 22-yard line. Free play effectively because DeMarcus Ware was offside. Next play. Less than four minutes to go to the end zone. Eli just overthrows Hickson, flipping with a touchdown. He got exactly what he wanted. Got the cover two. Had it had the to beat up the scene and just overthrew it. Two plays later, a third down try to Victor Cruz for five yards. Short of the necessary yardage. Got to go for it again. All fourth and one. Just 3.07 left on the clock. Time winding down. Love it play of the drive. Bradshaw. Punches it forward. Setting up. On first and goal. Got to call with the time and the fact that their line had not really given a lot of room to work. Next play, Eli. To the former Cowboy. Splash he gave you for Martellus Bennett. It was pass interference and the touchdown stood. Nearly a one for this game. At the 24 second game. And company. Play for Jason Gallagher. Half of the time. Would they have the confidence? He was the back up to the back. That's a step in the right direction. Murray stays in bounds, but the average. Well, who's checking to see if that's a 42 regular or a 40 long right there on the road? Yeah, I mean, that is an alteration of the jersey. So we've seen the Cowboys implode in the past, not last night. 30 Steelers with a chance to tie the game. Third and 10. to Ogletree. First down and effectively the ball game. Garrett's team showing mental composure. Robo guides Dallas to the road victory. Impressive stat line, 22 down, and 29. 307 passing yards, three touchdowns with big oval tree, eight grabs, 114 yeah, yeah, yeah. receiving yards, butter. and two touchdowns. Manning nearly 213 in the air. The Giants off. become the first no winning leave. Super Bowl champ to lose week one since Denver suffered that in 1999. It all adds up to win for Jason Garrett's Cowboys. You know, you play the world champs at their place on opening night in the NFL season. Uh, there are going to be some things that go well for you, but there's going to be some adversity you have to deal with, too. And uh, we had to deal with adversity in all three phases of our football team. I thought our guys did a really good job maintaining the right demeanor, understanding it's a 60 minute ball game. They just kept playing. Uh, they didn't blink, and things didn't go well for us. And, uh, you know, when things did go well for us, we just kept going. You know, very, very frustrating. Day to day. It, it, it hurts to, to come in and be playing at home and playing a game of this nature. The opener of the season to play the way we played, uh, we certainly are uh, capable of playing a lot better. Let's check out the back pages beginning in the Lone Star State first. The Fort Worth Star Telegram jump start for the Cowboys making a statement against the defending champs. And the Dallas Morning News spotlights the smashing effort of wide receiver Kevin Ogletree, who scored two touchdowns in the seven point win over the Giants. And as always, the New York tabloid media forgiving, or not so much. Star Newsday, okay, they're not slamming the Super Bowl champs too hard. We'll leave that to the competition of the Daily News. Super and as a finishing touch, you go over the line one more time. Guy is falling flat, and the post that makes it look it up this crispy. way. Super men. Mark Kriegel, that explains you. Now that I read these headlines, I know where your mentality came from. <laughs> that uh, the Giants get Ogletree as a breakout game for Kevin Ogletree last night in New Jersey. Coming up, Chris Collinsworth says last night Tony Romo played what could have been his best NFL game ever. Do our guys agree? We'll tell you next. The only thing better than seeing our delicious new popcorn chicken is tasting it. Keep your eyes on your Come try our new popcorn chicken with sweet potato fries at Burger King, where taste is king.
where I need more support. I got tired of your feet until I got my number. My doctor Scholl's custom fit or thoughts. You'll be a believer too. Don't want to your finishing product right there. When the kids are all together, and uh, especially if they have friends around, you got to embarrass them a little bit. We let the customer check it out. I do want to dance in front of my kids because I'm that fan. They all turn red. I don't care. We're all having fun together. And so therefore, I want to, you know, break out the, you know, the, the moves. When I start dancing, they kind of turn their heads because, you know, I get to be satisfied. That's as good as it gets right there. See you again for the next haircut. Randy B. Style.